Hello friends! Today's video is very special. A few weeks ago I was talking to my friend Kei Koba here in Japan regarding the back panel for the Color Classic with an LC575 motherboard. Now what you're seeing here, this back panel, is the stock Color Classic panel, but it doesn't fit. You can't insert it because the connectors on the stock Color Classic motherboard are not the same in, in, or in the same locations as the LC575. So I went on eBay, I was looking around at 3D printed solutions, but I found them all a bit lacking. Specifically, none of them have uh, the icons above each connector sunken into the plastic. None of them have the metal shield on back. I did find one that was 100% transparent and it did have what seemed to be white printed icons on it but I prefer the molded icons better, to be honest. And of course, it didn't have the metal shield either. Plus, it was 100% transparent, and I really would prefer an opaque look. Anyway, in the course of that discussion with Kay, he whipped out this photo that just floored me. I was dumbstruck when I saw it, because he had taken the back panel of an LC575 and handcrafted it to fit this slot. Now, I happen to have an LC575 computer. That's where I got this motherboard from. And I well, very subtly approached Kay and I said, Kay, would you mind making another one for the benefit of everyone out there on YouTube to show them how it's done? And to my delight, he graciously agreed. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you the video made by Kay Koba. I received this back panel from my friend, James Wages. He packed it very carefree and I want to say he always works brightly. So I would like to introduce a movie because um, I will cut it and convert it to his car classic. Surely the movie may not be very good, but please forgive me. So the first thing you'll notice is that he originally has two tabs but one is missing right here. So make a hole so that the screw mount is fixed instead of the tabs. Okay, let's get started.
Wasn't that amazing? Not only does this custom part look fantastic, but technically speaking, it's still an Apple part. Of course, it has the logos above each connector sunk into the plastic. It has the metal shield on back, and it also has the autograph from the magic man himself, Keikoba, with the date. Absolutely stunning. Folks, this really epitomizes made in Japan workmanship. 
lovingly crafted as if you made it for your own self with extreme attention to detail. If I move my hand all around it, it's just smooth to the touch, nothing cutting into my hand anywhere on it. I don't feel any rough spots. It's just like if, if Apple had made it. It's incredibly awesome. And of course it fits the color plastic like a glove. And it doesn't have the two little tabs on it, but you really don't need those tabs uh, because this, this plastic is uh, you know pretty brittle and you don't want to, if you take out the motherboard and put it in a lot, you don't want to uh, put stress on those tabs. So instead it uses uh, uh, screws to mount it in here and it fits just fine. Now I'm not gonna screw in the other screw on the other side, but one screw is good enough so you can see it fitted in here. The color isn't quite the same as this. Kay tried to de-yellow it, uh, but he didn't get enough sun that day and he wanted to ship it off to me quickly so I can do some retro bright on it later. But uh, right now I don't mind the color. It's just amazing to have. Uh, and what a wonderful job he did. Please let Kay know <laughs> your thoughts down in the comments section below. Um, what do you think? I mean, you know what I think. I think it's just absolutely outstanding. But I should also mention that Kay has some other things uh, for sale. He's a Mac enthusiast just like you and I are, but he's come up with some things that have been useful to himself. So he has introduced those to the public. And I have some samples uh, of some of the things. First of all, he sells uh, gears that are replacements for your floppy drives. Uh, I have a video on lubricating your drive and replacing the gear and in that video I bought some very high quality gears from Italy and they are indeed high quality but after evaluating these gears they're just one level higher. Uh, these gears are extremely smooth to the touch. It's almost like they're lubricated but they're not and so whenever you do match it with your oil and grease uh, boy this this is really going to be uh, an outstanding gear. So if you're in need of those you might want to check out his Carol's Mac Mod Shop. I put a link to that shop in the text description below. And he also engages people on the new Tinker Different forum there. So if you want to talk to him more extensively than here on YouTube in the comments, then you can head over to that forum. And uh, I've also put a link to that. He also is the authorized seller of Blue Scuzzy uh, by Eric Helgeson. And he's authorized by Big Mess of Wires uh, to sell the Rominator. Now the Rominator, this is actually the one I built in my Rominator video. And uh, the version that he came out with is, it's almost the same, but it uses much, much more low profile sockets. So, so much so that you can slide in the motherboard without having to resort to a flathead screwdriver and wedge it in the chassis. It's just a beautiful operation. And uh, so it's now back in stock. So if you're in need of that, if you have a Macintosh 128K, 512K or plus, check out my video to see why you might want to have one, but it's a fun, really a fun and useful product to have. And last but not least, I'd just like to thank Kay for having made this video, uh, not just for having made another one of these things, but for having made the video because it's extremely difficult to do. Uh, the camera is always in your way. In Japanese, we say jama. <laughs> jama uh, kusai. Yoku <laughs> shite It's a, it's, it's a problem. Uh, even for me in my last video when I was doing the uh, Mystic uh, recapping of the 575 motherboard, I have this little uh, microscope here and this is just a $30 thing, but it's not really suitable for me to show you my recapping, so I didn't use it. And I don't have one of those fancy $500 guys with the little two portholes in it, you know, and it's got a high quality camera inside. That might've been better, but I don't have one of those. And so I used my Panasonic GH5 camera, which is what is filming this part of the video right now, in a macro lens, and the camera was right in front of me. It would have been nice if I would have filmed that camera filming me, because if you would have seen it, you would have said, my goodness, how did you solder anything in? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I can't see things that are that small, so I had to use my little loop here uh, to, to spot things. And you could probably see it a few times in my previous video that I, I had to do that. But all said, when you, even if you're accustomed to filming things like I am, the camera can still get in the way. But Kay is not accustomed to filming things, so I can only imagine uh, the headaches that he had in creating that short film for us. So, あの、大変ご苦労様でした。これから<笑> 
Uh, and thanks to you folks too uh, for having watched this video. And uh, I, I would certainly, again, like I said before, appreciate hearing your thoughts. If you like this video, please consider giving it a huge thumbs up because that thumbs up goes straight to K Koba. And don't worry, we have many more videos that are coming out in this Color Classic series when I swap out the CPU for an FPU version, when I overclock it. Uh, we're going to do the 640x480 upgrade. We're going to do a lot of other things too. So those videos are coming. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching to the end. Have a great day, folks.